Let's say you want to use the SPD-SX as a sound module, you're playing sounds on there, but you're using Ableton Live to play different clips as well on the same time, but your drum sounds are uh, mainly or are coming from the SPDSX. So you might want to automate some changes of the kits you got on the SPDSX and I created a max for life patch which you can use for that so that you can send the automations from Ableton directly. So um, all you need to do is you need to take this thing obviously you will need max for life for that so we're just going to use one dedicated midi track for that so i'm gonna delete all the other ones and you're just gonna use this track for let's call it spd sx control or let's call it kit control to make it really obvious and with this track you only want to control the kits on the SPDSX so what you need to make first is you need to make sure that the SPDSX is set to send and receive um, the computer messages for that so you need to go into the menu and then you need to go into your setup settings and you need to scroll down to MIDI and press enter again and there you got a menu and you just need to switch the first on the first row you will find PC TX RX SW so for switch you need to turn this one on okay so let's leave the menu here again and we need to set up the ports in Ableton Live now so let's go into the MIDI preferences um, which are just under the third tab here and you need to make sure that your input track input for the SPDSX is turned on and that the track output for the SPDSX is turned on as well. Make sure that you select the right SPDSX port which uh, is the first one. The second one is for the sockets on the back of your SPDSX. Okay, so let's leave this menu and let's set up this track right. So we want to receive MIDI from SPDSX and we want to send out um, MIDI to SPDSX as well. And we uh, per default have to set this to 10. So on channel 10, the SPDSX is receiving and sending MIDI. Let's arm this track and now we can do some magic on this patch here. We can press the plus and it's not only turning to two here, it's turning to two on our SPDSX as well. So we can select the kits in here. And this is talking vice versa. So if we change kits on the SPDSX, it will change it in the patch here as well. Or even if we use a foot switch for that, same. So there is one more really cool thing. I added a kit selector wheel here as well. So you can cycle through kits here as well with this wheel. You can see on the SPDSX it will change to the one you are selecting with the wheel. And this gives some more freedom here. So if we want to set up a MIDI control now for this wheel, we can do this with every MIDI hardware we have and uh, which will be received inside of Ableton, but we could use our SPDSX here as well. So for this, we need to set up, for example, the control two wheel to send MIDI messages to Ableton Live. So for this, we go into the menu go to the setup section again, go into the MIDI section, and now we need to switch on the second one, uh, which is a control change, CC, TX, RX, SW. So let's switch this one on, and you need to set um, different MIDI numbers, MIDI control change numbers here for the different um, wheels you got, and even these four buttons can send out MIDI control change on one MIDI node number as well. So let's use the control wheel 2, which is the one at the very bottom. So I set this to um, value number 3. You can use any value you want. 
Okay, let's go back into Ableton. First, let us um, exit the menu here. Let's go back into Ableton and make sure that in our preferences, preferences the um, remote input is switched on because we are now MIDI remote stuff in a we want to MIDI remote stuff in Ableton. It's not sending MIDI on a track. Uh, it's remote um, MIDI. We want to use a MIDI map function in Ableton Live. So we need to have this turned on. Okay, so let's go to the wheel here and go into the MIDI map menu, select this uh, wheel here, the kit selector wheel, and now when I'm turning this uh, control wheel on my SPDSX, it's sending out the MIDI CC data. I can leave the MIDI map menu again, and now magic is happening. I can now wheel through my different kits on my SPDSX, and this will change here in Ableton Live as well, of course. So this is, um, if you do want to do this by hand, or by foot, or on your screen, this is uh, the techniques for that. But you can automate this, of course, as well. So let's say you have an Ableton Live set and you have different kits. Um, you want to be selected, you want to have them selected um, on the same time uh, when you switch a scene here. So uh, you need to set up a MIDI dummy clip here. You can just double click on an empty MIDI slot and this way you can create an empty MIDI clip. So what we want to do first is we don't want this to loop and we want to go to the envelope section here and there you can see you have the SPD-SX kit selector and there you have the kit uh, menu here as well. And now I can just set one dot on here, so this this is number one, for example. Let's name the clip number one as well, so it's quite obvious. And let's create another clip. Let's say from here you want in your session view, uh, in your se session you want to have another kit being selected. Let's put in 20 here and uh, just name it first, put in 20 here and let's go to the envelope window here again, make sure the right um, envelope is selected here. Let's set a dot again and then we can move this up to number 20. Um, What's well, a bit too far? Okay. It's, it's a bit, it's not the nicest way to edit this, but you just have to do this once. Okay, so uh, when I'm now playing those clips, the envelope message will be sent to this wheel and um, the wheel will change, of course, the kit number in here. So uh, let's switch off the quantization so it will um, change when this is being played. So you can see here now, number kit number 20 is selected. I have a loop here. I don't actually want a loop. I just want to be it selected once and then I press number one here, so I can now actually um, do this in session view or do this in arrangement view, so I can make sure that when I'm playing the song, don't know, name X, um, the right kit is being selected on my SPDS SX, so I get the right sounds from my SPDSX per default and don't have to touch anything here to change the sounds.